Hello, let's have a look at the question at hand. A proton is moving in a region of uniform magnetic field. The magnetic field is directed into the plane of paper. The arrow shows the velocity of the proton at one instant and the dotted circle gives the path followed by the proton. Now, before we go to the first question, let us first realize the direction of forces. We understand that the velocity is directed upward the direction of magnetic field B is into the plane of paper as given. And since the proton is assumed or suggested to be executing circular path, its force is a constant force acting towards the center, also known as the centripetal force as discussed in circular motion. We go ahead with the first question. Explain why the path of the proton is a circle. Here, let us first assume that we do not know the path taken by the proton is a circle. So let us first figure out the path taken. We can here use a rule known as a charge rule. Here the charge rule expects us to use the first three fingers of our, of our right hand such that when the first three fingers, that is the thumb, the forefinger, and the middle finger are held mutually perpendicular to each other as shown here. Mutually perpendicular to each other as shown here. The thumb will indicate the direction of velocity of a positive charge. The rule is written for a positive charge. So we will imagine as such. The forefinger indicates the direction of magnetic field B, while the middle finger indicates the direction of force acting. From this, we get to know that the force acting is towards the left. And here we notice one peculiar thing that is the velocity is a constant value pointing upwards. And the force acting is perpendicular to the direction of velocity. This instance is exactly the same as that of any object executing uniform circular motion. So this particular reason is the proof that the proton is in fact executing circular motion or the path of the proton is a circle. Moving ahead to the next part, we go ahead with the next question. The speed of the proton is 2 into 10 to the power of 6 meter per second. The magnetic field strength B is 0 0.35 Tesla. Show that the radius of the path is about 6 centimeter. Now, let us write down the values given in the question. We have the speed or velocity V and its magnitude is 2 into 10 to the power of 6 meter per second. The strength of the magnetic field B, which is a vector here, is equal to 0.35 Tesla. Now, we understand that the force acting on a charge in circular motion is given by F is equal to the charge Q times the cross product of velocity and strength of magnetic field B or magnetic flux density B. We also know that in circular motion, the centripetal force F is written as either M omega square R or in terms of linear velocity V as M V square by R. Since in this particular example or in this particular condition, the force acting on the charge is in fact acting as a centripetal force we equate QVB to MV square by R. And when we equate and rewrite the formula in terms of R, we get the equation as R is equal to M into V divided by Q into B. Substituting the values, we get the mass of the proton from the data booklet as 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kilogram. V is a value given. 2 into 
10 to the power of 6. Q is again charge of a proton, which is a constant derived from the data booklet as 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 into 0 0.35 Tesla, which is the strength of the magnetic field. This gives us an estimate for the value of R as approximately 0 0.06 meters, which proves that the value of R or the radius here is 6 centimeters. Calculate the time taken for one complete revolution. The time taken for one complete revolution is in fact called time period capital D. Time period capital D has a relationship between or with velocity V and radius R as follows. In circular motion or for a body executing uniform circular motion, velocity V is equal to 2 times pi times R divided by T. When rewritten in terms of T, we get T is equal to 2 pi R over V. Substituting 2 into pi into R is 0 0.06 divided by velocity V, which is 2 into 10 power 6. Simplifying this further, we get the value of T as approximately 1.9 into 10 to the power of minus 7, its unit being seconds. Moving on to the last part, explain why kinetic energy of the proton is a constant. So let's start with this question. We understand here that when a body is executing uniform circular motion, at every point in its circular motion, the direction of velocity keeps changing as depicted in this diagram. And while the direction of velocity keeps changing at every instant, whether it is at this instant A, instant B, or instant C, we also understand that velocity at these instants are exactly equal in terms of magnitude. Even though they are different in terms of direction, they are the same in terms of magnitude, shown as such. Since they are the same in terms of magnitude, this helps us understand that velocity as a magnitude is constant. And since mass is also a constant, and since kinetic energy has the formula Ke is equal to half m times v square, the kinetic energy also remains a constant. This concludes the answer to our question. Thank you.